Welcome back to Redbeard Reviews. I'm Luke, and today we're going to look at some jeans. And yeah, I know I said in one of my Arrowhead Tactical Apparel videos that I really like living in athletic wear, and for the most part I do. Uh, that's why these jeans I like so far. Haven't had them for a long time, but I'm still wearing, checking them out, things like that. And I wanted to just let you all know that I'm trying out a pair of jeans. So let's get into it. These are actually the LA Police Gear um, Terrain Flex Jeans. Uh, this is the straight fit model. They didn't have a whole lot other options. Um, when I was looking just because I wanted to get them, um, I needed a pair of jeans to look a little more professional for a couple days. And it was going to take a while through their, their direct website, so I got them through Amazon. And I also had a bunch of points built up, so I paid like $7 overall for these, whereas um, the listing price I think was 49 bucks. So it's not bad for a pair of jeans. I know I've paid more for that um, in the past for jeans that I end up not liking. And so I'm very surprised that they have a product like this that is very affordable. And uh, at the same time, you know, one of these things, I'm just gonna get to it right away, is uh, these things stretch. You can see that. Like I'm, do, I'm, I'm forcing a little bit, but they have some flex to them, and and that just kind of runs down the entire jean, and that's why I don't like jeans typically, is that they don't do that. So that's why I bought this pair because I was looking for some jeans, and I like I said I need them for professional or look more professional for a few days, and um and I need to have a good pair of jeans on on hand anyways. There's it looks it's just a good thing to have for business casual things like that so i was looking at things like um victos and um vertex and because i wanted a pair of jeans that would be like um, an edc tactical slash still look good kind of pair of pants and i found these and i was blown away that la police gear had jeans for uh i think at the time it's 39.99 um but then of course you got to pay for shipping and tax and all that stuff and so then when i found them on amazon it was 49 bucks free shipping so six to one half dozen the other you're going to pay for shipping either way if you only get one pair of pants so um i could not believe that they were able to sell them for as low as they're selling them for and then still have all these features and there's nine pockets in these i just run over it really quick you can always go on their website lapolicegear.com and check it out but you know you got your normal front pocket you got a little it's this is like an oversized coin pocket where i have some goodies on the table beside me you could conceivably fit a mag this is um a shield arms 15 rounder so you know like a compact size mag or something smaller or a knife, or keys, what have you. On the back, you have your standard, you know, throw a wallet in there. It's like good depth. Uh, if you can see that, it's not too crazy. You know, it's a pair, it's a, it's a back pocket. You can throw a PMAG in there. It sticks up a little bit. Uh, and then they also have a pocket that is at your what is that, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock-ish, and then the same on the other side, just kind of, oh, where'd it go? Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, just kind of right above your back pocket, but it's, it's more hidden because it's kind of sewn into that seam line, uh, and that does fit a P-Mag, at least that far, so you could have access to it, or you can the pistol mag in there and it's gone or you could even throw a knife in there doing this without with, without the pants being on is a little more difficult but that's kind of how that works so so far having those extra pockets for me has been nice because I feel like I can put things wherever I need them I don't have to worry about that and I actually like wearing these so far because they flex it's not quite athletic shorts or the uh, sweatpants, stuff like that, but it's a lot better. So that's why I'm just saying, um, if you're looking for a pair of pants that's fairly cheap, check them out, LA Police Gear. Um, there's not a lot that I've seen on YouTube on them, but 
the stuff I've seen is all good, and, and I have no qualms other than, you know, maybe, um, like, the belt loops. There's only five. One, two, three, and the, well, you have one big one in the back, four and five. And I think I said nine pockets. I forgot. There's, like, a key pocket. You could throw a key, um, handcuff key, uh, regular key, you know, anything like that right here. Some change. I don't know. If you can think of anything to throw back there, you can throw back there. It's a pocket. So that's all nine pockets. Um, has a standard zipper, has a standard button. Nothing too crazy. It doesn't look out of ordinary. This straight fit, I was kind of going to go for a relaxed fit just for more comfort. Um, they didn't have them, and I'm not going to go with a slim fit, so I went to straight fit. It fits, it works, it's comfortable. Um, I can try them on for you, and you can see just kind of how it looks. I'll shove some stuff in the pockets. Uh, we can even throw a dry gun in there and just see how everything works because I do actually like the waistband as well. Um, let's get into that right now. So the waistband. Um, so a lot of times now I've been wearing about a 32 size waist. Like 5'11 gear, I wear size 32. Um, you know, there's it, it kind of depends on the brand, but there's it, other jeans that I've tried, like a 32 gives me you, know, you can fit your hand down in between your your cell your body and your waistband and um you know there's some brands that i fit a 30 but it's it's kind of between a 30 32 and so i read some reviews on these on their website and also on amazon and some people say it fits true to size some people say they run big so order a size down and i went well if i want to have a concealed carry firearm you know, in, in the waistband carry, maybe I should just go with, with my size, like size 32, like not order a size down and be safe, because then I, I figure I should be good and I should have room. So I did actually order these um, in a size 32, and this is a size 30. Um, they did not fit. They were huge. I was blown away by how big these things were in a size 32. Um... Like my like I put my belt on over it and like you're scrunching it up and the and the the fabric is just bunching itself over there's way too much extra fabric and so I had to send those back and hurry up and get another one ordered right away just because I, I, I still needed the jeans um, and it's just that the ones I had were gonna be way too big and they were not gonna work at all so um, if you do buy these order a size down because I found that I was very much oversized when trying to order my usual size. And on Amazon, it does say based on your recent purchases or your other purchases, you know, the 32 by 30 is good for me. Like the true to size fits true to size. In this case, it doesn't. So, you know, take that or leave it. Do with what, do with it as you will. But let's get me into these really quick, and I'll stand on my bench, and you can just kind of see how they fit. Okay, we're back. I put them on, and now I got all this stuff laid out in front of me, and I'm just gonna throw this on really quick, and then I can show you. So this would be like, maybe if you're going nuts, and you can have everything in your pockets with you in a pair of jeans. Okay, so gun goes on, put the wallet on. This is obviously like, I'm not showing this off normally, but so I would throw the pistol mag back here for comfort reasons. stuff in my pockets and I need to loosen the belt just a little bit. It's a blue alpha gear belt, uh, just a low profile EDC, really comfortable. If I'm going to do a review on it, I can. But yeah, I can I can sit like this, I'm comfortable, and I hate sitting. If, if there's like stuff in my pockets on a normal pair of jeans, um, like down in my waistband, there's no flex. 
I, I absolutely hate sitting in a pair of jeans that does not flex, or any other pants for that matter. So, the fact that I like this, and I have actually extra stuff, I don't normally pack all this stuff on me, but I just wanted to throw all that stuff that was on the table into these jeans, and I'm going, this isn't too bad. So I'll stand up, and you can just see everything, and I'll pull all, everything out of my pockets as we go real quick. You see, I, I got it all on there. Not bad. Here we go. This is way up here. <laughs> okay. So, it, like, there's the flex. It doesn't really feel like I have all this stuff in my pockets because of how that flexes out. Now, normally, I'm not, I don't like anything in my right side back pocket because I'm left handed. So, having the P Mag in there is a little awkward, but as soon as I get rid of that, it helps. Having an extra mag, well, it's in that back little corner pocket. That, you know, getting rid of stuff obviously makes things better. I have a flashlight. It's an old Phoenix. It's nice. Keys. I always have those. Not really going to notice if I don't have, or if I do have those in my pocket. Knife. Saw that before. The observer's still rocking it. And uh, my uh, phone. My wallet. And of course, last, the gun. Yeah, sitting down without everything in my pockets versus all of this junk in my pockets. And I'm not going to normally rock all this stuff on a daily basis. Some people might. Um, you know, a range day or something like that, maybe I have to, maybe I want to. Uh, I'm not going to notice it, especially if I'm standing up. Sitting down more so, I, I know I would notice this more so. But um, I'm pretty impressed that there's a pair of jeans out there that doesn't cost 100 50 bucks or 100 bucks or something like that because like I said I looked at those Victos and I looked at the uh, Vertex and some other ones and I'm like I'm not paying a hundred plus pair of dollars for jeans 40 bucks 50 bucks 30 bucks something like that that's what I'm gonna buy so yeah uh, if you've seen something else out there because I think I did a lot of searching on the interwebs and these are the only ones I could find but I'm very impressed LA police gear way to go uh, you got another you got a customer for life as long as you keep making stuff like this so that about does it for me uh if you got any questions comments let me know otherwise that's the uh, la police gear terrain flex jeans and i'm loving them so far this is red beard reviews i'm luke have a good one mm -hmm.